continue to get you ready for your Memorial Day weekend. We can't forget about your skin and making sure we're taking care of it while we're having fun in the sun. It's going to be in the 80s and bright and sunny, so we need to be prepared for this. Now, we've enlisted the help of local TikTok doc, Dr. Anthony Yoon, who is a board certified plastic surgeon who has more than 8 million followers on social media, and he's super fun. So if you don't follow him, <laughs> you need to follow him on Instagram, TikTok, and all of that. Welcome back to Live in the D, Dr. Yoon. It's great to have you. Thank you so much. And thank you for helping us to protect our skin for the summer weather. Now, first up, let's talk sunscreen. Yes. And, and here's the big debate. What is the difference between chemical and physical? Are we as one for the hands and one for the body? Like, how does it all work? It doesn't matter. So it does matter. Okay. Chemical sunscreens are basically chemicals that you put on your skin. Mm -hmm. the, the body absorbs it. There's a, a, a reaction that occurs that will protect then your skin from the sun. Okay. Physical sun blocks are meant to actually physically block the sun's rays. Mm. So they do not get absorbed into your skin. As far as, you know, protection, they both can offer great protection, but there's one very important thing. A physical sunblock can cause your skin to look whiter, can give it a whitish hue. Yeah, okay? there's ashiness with the physical. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so especially if you've got darker skin, yeah. usually chemical sunscreens can work a bit better. Mm-hmm. Unless this one. This is the only physical sunblock that works okay. that doesn't make me ashy. But yes, yeah, ashy is some, a real thing with us. It is a real thing. Yeah. So do we always need to reapply our sunscreen and how often? So it's important to reapply every two hours, okay? okay? And, and really, if you look at any of the sunscreens, they all will say basically every two hours you want to reapply. That's where a lot of people make a mistake. Mm. You know, you're out at the beach, you're having fun, and time gets away from you. You think, oh, I put my sunscreen on this morning, and then you get burned because you didn't reapply. Okay, all right. Uh, what about, uh, excuse me, what about after going in the water? Does waterproof sunscreen need to be reapplied? Uh, should there be more washing of the face? How does that process yeah. work? So yes, it's definitely important if you go into the water to reapply afterwards. Even if it says that it's waterproof, okay. yes, it may be That's better than question. something that doesn't, right. but you will still lose it. So definitely after you're in the water, come back out, reapply it afterwards. Okay, now here's something that all the beauty social media people talk about in the summertime. Should we, we be washing our face any differently? Yes, definitely. Okay. Now, if you are applying sunscreen, especially sunblocks, those physical sunblocks mm -hmm. that can be kind of heavy on your skin, you do need to wash it off every night, and it may be difficult if you do one cleanse. So one simple mm -hmm. thing is to do a double cleanse. Cleanse with an oil-based cleanser first. That's going to remove your makeup, that sunscreen, and then do a regular cleanser afterwards. Okay. Here's a good one. What about hats? What about hats? Do they really offer screen protection, or do you need more with that? So hats can help, but okay. they're not going to do everything. Okay. Uh, now, my mom's got a hat that's about three times as big as these. I was Those big, will work I was for her. <laughs> so any type, even clothing, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I've got a shirt on that's going to take care of the sun's yeah. rays. A white t-shirt, that's maybe an SPF of three or four is oh, all wow. that it really supplies. So you really wow. even want to wear sunscreen under your clothes, especially if they're real thin. Okay. All right. Now, one other thing that I wanted to ask you, you said that we shouldn't rely on the SPF in our makeup. This is for the ladies. Why not? Well, it doesn't, makeup often will contain SPF. Mm -hmm. It will help to protect your skin. But the big thing is that it, usually you don't apply enough makeup to oh. actually protect your skin appropriately. Okay. Okay? okay, so even though it contains it, you have to put a lot of it on to technically protect your skin enough. So use that, water, you know, the, the makeup with the sunscreen, but okay. add the sunscreen over that. Add too. the sunscreen over that. Okay, yeah. so what are your thoughts on spray sunscreen, especially for kids? Because we see these all over the place. They seem like they're super convenient. What do you think? They are real convenient. The big thing with these spray sunscreens is that you've got children, they've got developing lungs, and you mm -hmm. see people at the beach spraying their kids all over it, and there's this, this just huge puff of, of these chemicals that, mm -hmm. that these kids are now breathing into their developing lungs. Mm -hmm. We do know that certain sunscreen uh, components, ingredients, may be hormone disruptors, potential hormone disruptors, mm -hmm. and that's the last thing you want your kids to be breathing in. Right. So take these, spray it into your hand, and then apply it to your children if you've got it. Okay. All right. Great advice. It's crash course. Yeah, any more pro tips that we should be thinking about for the being out in the sun? If you're in the car, you've got that the sun gunning on your face. You may not get burned through the car windows, but you can still get sun damage. Wow. So you want to apply your sunscreen, especially if you're going on a long road trip this weekend. Put your sunscreen on before you I get in the car. The sun is out to get us. We got to protect ourselves. I'm glad I, I just said. I literally second. slather it off. I got to because it's also the number one ager of skin, right? It is. Yep. See? Yeah. Just compare the skin on your face to your neck. To your bottom, your bottom's gonna look very different. Yeah, great. Right. <laughs> so I stay in the house, AC baby. <laughs> Doctor, you thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Always fun.